Hello, hello, and welcome back to Grand Theft Auto 5. And in this series, we will be continuing on with the main storyline of the game. And we pick up where we left off in the last episode, having just escaped the mortuary. And we now need to go and meet up with Dave and his boss at the FIB building. So, cutting out the uneventful journey, we're going to make our way over to the FIB. And we are going to continue to be Davy's little lapdog. Wow, that is an incredibly tall building. There must be a lot of feds in there. Let's hope we don't have to make our way to the top floor of that bomb. So we are now between the FIB building, which I believe is on our left, and the equivalent of the CIA building, which is just on our right. And we are a very, very well known oh, and wanted criminal. Oh, isn't this nice? You didn't tell me we were double dating. Sorry guys, this barn and hunk of love is all mine. <laughs> Brilliant! Steve Haynes, amigo, but you probably knew that already. Sorry, your name tag must have fallen off. Oh, duh. I love it. I, I, I gotta remember to write that down. And to shoot you in your head, you annoying dick. <laughs> Andreas, taking notes? This stuff? Whoa! Pure magic. I should put it on my show. Have you seen my show? You mean how to dress like a salesman on a cheap golf weekend at a third rate country club? <laughs> so. Well done with our. Uh... Our friend, Mr. K. My pleasure. Uh, I love helping our government wage war, especially with itself. But you made a mistake. Did I, Cupcake? Why don't you keep your fucking voice down before I close your fucking windpipe? The joke stopped now, pal. You will show me and my team some respect. Maybe you could define team for me. Is that just the three of you? Or the greater FIB? Or the entire government? Because... I'm tempted to argue that thus far, we haven't shown a lot of your colleagues a whole lot of respect. And why don't you start with me, genius? You got it, pal. We have received intel that they're keeping Mr. K at the local agency station. I just dealt with that guy. The agency is stepping up their questioning because of your moronic antics down at the coroner's office. We need to get him out of there before he blabs. I did what Agent Norton said. Then I guess you getting involved with a clapped out old agent who's been living off of past glories was your first mistake. You are my boy now, amigo. Huh. My career depends on this. And that's very important to me. So seeing as we're all boys now, that makes it important to you. You'll run along, kids. See, there you go, Dave. You can't teach an old dog new tricks. Let's go. So it turns out Zero that out we are stuff. going to be raiding the FIB building. Yeah, sure. For Sounds the nice. informant, we were unable to find in the mortuary. And I'm already taking a massive disliking to Davy's boss, and I'm hoping very much to put several bullets in him, namely shotgun shells as they do more damage. But in the meantime, we need to travel back to the oil fields, and we are going to meet up with both Trevor and Franklin, which is probably not going to be a great meeting. And we're going to then have Trevor fly us back to the FIB building. So we're going from the FIB building to the oil fields, back to the FIB building, and then most likely at the end return to the oil fields. With a whole lot of killing along the way. Michael, this ain't the best time. I'm kind of busy. Hey, sorry about that. Listen, you know that thing we talked about before? It's happening. I need you to come to a lot off El Rancho, not far from where we met before. Alright, that's cool. I'm in LS anyway. So while we're on our journey, let's have a quick word from our sponsor. Yeah, 
Every journey should be accompanied by some coffee. So we are now at the oil fields here and it looks like Trevor and Franklin have already arrived. Who's that cagey motherfucker, huh? No, it's another cagey motherfucker, all right? Not you! Hey, T, enough with the faux political bullshit! Franklin, come on, you better take off. Really. Shit, I'm good. I ain't bailed. Whoa. What, well, am I detecting some, uh, some sort of, uh, son I never had bullshit here, Mikey, huh? Hey, listen. If you want to replace some father figure, you can do a lot better than this fat snake, all right? This fucker would eat his own kids. Like I said, Franklin, deranged. Yeah, and best friend. <laughs> exactly. That's Trevor, my best friend. That's Franklin, the son I always wanted. <sighs> all right, guys, listen, this is the shot. I'm gonna do all the heavy lifting on this job, okay? Trevor, all I need you to do is fly me to the target. Franklin, you're gonna cover me from across the street. We're gonna make these assholes happy, and we're gonna walk away from this thing clean. Got it? I got you. All right. And we do this, and they help us bring Brad. Right. Yeah. We'll talk about Brad later. All right, I gotta change. You better grab a head start. Nice to meet you, homie. Yeah, whatever. <sighs> The government gimp at last. Eh, yeah, bite me. Let's go. All right, let's do this thing. So, as Trevor, we are going to fly Michael back to the FIB building. Uh, it will be a much quicker journey in a helicopter as we can fly direct at the building we don't have to take any left or right turns or u-turns and one-way streets and encounter buses and lorries and people who just don't indicate when they're turning so the FIB building is just to the right there uh, we need to get up to what I believe will be the northwest corner and this can be quite tricky because we need to hover just off the edge of the building and just above the building. So there's the IAA building, which is the equivalent of the CIA building, so it's not the FIB building we need to uh, attack. It's the CIAs or the IIAs. So we are roughly in position here. Uh, we're just going to try and get a little bit lower. I think we're drifting backwards a bit as well. So we need to get a bit closer also. So that Michael can rappel down, grab the informant, and we can then make a speedy exit. So just over to our left a little bit more. And I think we are just about there. You fuck around while I'm out there. I'll climb back up this rope. And strangle you with it! Yeah! So, a bit of abseiling down a skyscraper from the anchor point of a helicopter. Oh, this is most definitely a thrill ride, especially knowing that the helicopter pilot is Trevor Phillips, a complete and utter psychopath. So, it looks like we're down far enough now. And that looks like our informant. Your ass, your tonsils will be playing shadow puppets. You think we can't do that? We can. It's in our guidelines. I don't know what you're talking about. I install cinema equipment, not surveillance. Grab his other arm. No, 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 no. You think you're impenetrable? See how you feel with this is 18 inches deep inside. Get the lube. Actually, fuck the lube. Let's dry dock. So, let's rescue this poor individual whilst we put a gun to his head. Don't worry, mate. We ain't gonna shoot you. So, switching over to Franklin on an opposite building and we can hit man off a few of these bodyguards. Although my aim is still pretty bad. I'm going for chest shots rather than head shots just to guarantee a kill and they are one hit kills for the most part 
Alright, so let's get Michael and the informant out. Yep, there we go. Unfortunately, I can't seem to hit nothing all of a sudden. So we're going to switch back to Michael as he is considerably closer to the targets. There we go. Anyone else? Oh, nice one, Trevor. So Trevor's just going to leave us dangling here as a moving target. But luckily we managed to kill everybody. And we are now on our way. But it looks like we have the... IAA air support unit in attendance multiple helicopters from the looks of it one of them is actually shooting at me let's see if we can't take out this pilot well I think we got someone and a couple more there and down goes the first helicopter now I, I remember this level from when I first played through the game and hitting these moving helicopters with a sniping rifle is somewhat difficult. So we're going to switch to Michael, who has unlimited ammo and an automatic rifle. So we can now basically just, if we can hit them, we can just bombard these helicopters and shoot them clean out of the sky. But as you can see, I am a terrible shot. And this last helicopter here will prove to be somewhat difficult as I am spraying bullets absolutely wildly and we've been joined by one more helicopter uh, let's see if my aim improves any uh, we've done a, a few bits of damage there can we just finish it off Trevor will you fly straight I know you're trying to avoid the missiles but they're not heat seekers although that one did get rather close but we do now have all of our pursuers dealt with so all that's left for us to do now is to fly back to the oil fields with our prize and we'll meet up with Davy I'm guessing so here we are back at the oil fields and luckily Trevor is the pilot and he has the best piloting skills although my XP or my skill level for Trevor isn't quite as high as I would like it and this is not the best helicopter to fly it does sort of wobble around a lot but we made it safely protege yeah what you gonna teach him to be old before his time yeah to never grow up that seems like a good kid huh? Michael huh? look at this huh? new city new set of problems but the idiots uh, they stay the same yep I guess all right Trevor I'll see you later oh you better believe it buddy uh, why did that sound much more like a threat than a confirmation so one more mission taken care of there uh, I think we will leave the story there for now and we will pick it up again in the next episode I have been Anubis and I will see you all in the next video